Safety scenarios for pressure relief device calculations is any scenario that can lead to an overpressurization of your system. In API 521, you find on Table 1 17 scenarios listed by the standard, and in the Icefan High Seas, in the safety analysis, you also have a summarization of them. So here you can see that. For instance, fire is a scenario where you can have a overpressurization of your system because if you keep adding heat to a vessel, the fluid that's inside the vessel will expand and with that will increase the pressure until it reaches the maximum allowable working pressure of the equipment or you relieve the amount of fluid that is inside that to prevent the overpressurization. Another case of or another scenario of overpressurization is a control valve failure. Most often when we are dealing with the pressure control, you want to decrease a high pressure for a low pressure and you need to consider the scenario of having this control valve full open. So what happens if you have a high pressure upstream of your control valve and it goes to downstream of your control valve? Most often, the downstream process is not able to reach the same amount of pressure that the upstream of your control valve. And because of that, you need to consider pressure relief devices to prevent the rupture of your system. Imagine that you need to compress a fluid to, to a process and in the after cooler it is a shine to be heat exchanger and you use a cooling water system with a pressure around 3.5 bar G. If for any reason the heat exchanger, the tube rupts or if you get a hole in the tube because corrosion for instance, you need to verify what happens when the Fluid at the high pressure goes to the side of the lower pressure of your system. So these are examples of scenarios for pressure relief device calculations.